Hey, this is Brian from ANJ Cycles. I uh, just wanted to give you a quick uh, update about Tune ECU for the uh, 2016 and up uh, Triumph water-cooled twins. So this is for the 900s and the 1200s. Uh, this just came out in August. Um, very powerful tool. I haven't fully learned how to use all of it, but I wanted to show you some of the basics um, that people previously were using dealer tool for is uh, included in this package. Uh, so the two things you need is uh, an Android phone. So I'm an iPhone guy. I picked this up for 30 bucks on uh, eBay. And then the other thing you need is uh, the Bluetooth OBD Link, OBD Link LX or the MX version. Those are the only two that supposedly work with this setup. Um, so this on your bikes, um, it's a brand new <coughs> Scrambler 1200 here. Uh, it's behind the left side cover on this bike. On uh, like the Thruxons and the other bikes, it's actually underneath the seat. So to get this to work, you need to download the Tune ECU software from the Google Play Store. It's only available on Android phones. The uh, laptop version does not work for some reason. So I've downloaded that. Uh, the bike needs to be on and in like a, this bike has the, you know, all the built-in switch with everything um, due to the fob. Um, on a Thruxton, you need the key on with the bike in the run position. So you'll see here you have the screen. And if you go in here to ECU, you hit connect. And you'll see that it has my Bluetooth device there. It'll take a little bit. And then once we have the setup, if you click ECU, here's where all the neat stuff is. So the three screens are disconnect, error codes, tests and adjustments and informations. So the tests and information, uh, here's a few cool things. You can test all these items. Um, the key one down here is the adjustments. First one there, reset adaptation. Uh, no need anymore to start the bike, bike up at cold, run it for 12 minutes until the fan kicks on. I just go in here, reset adaptation, run, and it resets it. ABS system. It's connecting to the ABS module. It's going to pull in if you have any error codes or anything. So you'll see here, I do have an error code in here. Um, want to do the bleed. Uh, this is working much smoother. This is for if you need to bleed your brakes. This will actually open up the ABS module. Um, gets very wonky in the dealer tool program. So what you'll hear there is the ABS module is on now. And it gives you a little countdown on here. And then when you're done, you can just stop it. Well, it's going to finish. Go back into test and adjustments. Adjustments. Uh, other big thing here. Reset service interval. This bike actually has the wrench on there. So I come over here and I click reset service interval, click run, I got miles, service intervals, I'm going 3,000 on my bike, voila, it's now gone. So you are supposed to be able to make tuning adjustments and stuff like that with the bike. Uh, I haven't figured out how to do that yet. So here we are with a, uh, you know, like a full dash here. Uh, pretty real time. Let's see what's going on here. Sorry for the blurry screen. Uh, just trying out my new Osmo Action here. So that's it in a nutshell. Um, like I said, new software. Um, when I do figure out how, to, there actually are some maps out there available on the website for, for some of the new bikes, not everything. Um, and once I figure that out, um, I will update this video with more information for you. Uh, but just kind of wanted to give people a quick rundown of just the very 
uh, neat stuff available in here to do the testing and then the two key things uh, do the adaptation the adaption uh, the ABS system reset the service interval you can also re reset uh, check engine lights if you have that in here so neat software powerful only downsides need an Android phone and need the uh, Bluetooth dongle